Here's how to measure distance in Apple Maps. Now, if you're used to using Apple Maps and you wanna measure the exact distance between two different locations, I'll show you how to do it. So if you open up Maps here, there are gonna be two different tricks that we can use to measure that distance. One is if I just zoom into Manhattan here and I wanted to measure maybe the distance between this intersection, I'm just gonna tap and hold and drop a pin. And if I zoom out, maybe I want to measure the different distance between there and Central Park. Now you have a couple different options. One is you can tap on this drop pin, tap on this little driving icon, and instead of my location, let's use Central Park as the other one. So you can see if I zoom in here, it will show me these directions and it says it is half a mile away. So that's one way to measure a distance. You can do car or you could do walking if you want to also show walking and it will show you to the very center of that uh, central park here. So that's one way, but keep in mind, this doesn't always show you the exact distance between two different points. It'll show you the directions and the distance including those directions. Now, unfortunately, the only way that you can measure a distance from two points, the exact distance on Apple Maps, is to use the little scale bar at the very top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that pin that I just dropped, I'm gonna rotate my map around, and I'm just gonna zoom in until basically, or actually zoom out until basically that scale bar mimics the distance that I'm measuring. So that, again, this isn't a great option, but you can see there it is about 0.375 miles between that pin and Central Park. So unfortunately, there's no one way to just tap and hold and drop a pin in one location and then drop, and, uh, drop a pin at another location and measure that exact distance. You can do that in Google Maps. So if you do want an easier way, you can always just switch over to Google Maps and use it in there. But unfortunately, in Apple Maps, those are your two options in terms of measuring the distance. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.